we will learn how to find the conoscopic figure of uniaxial mineral tourmaline and a biaxial mineral muscovite. Conoscopic figures are used to distinguish between grains of anisotropic minerals and isotropic minerals, along with information about the optic sign. To observe the conoscopic figures, you must make sure the substage iris is open, focus on a grain at the highest objective power, insert analyzer, insert the Birchin lens, and finally, insert the condenser lens. If viewing the optic sign, insert the gypsum plate. First, we will briefly go over the necessary parts of the microscope. The Birchin lens is used to make the conoscopic figure focused at the eyepiece. Without it, the focused image would be at the rear of the objective lens, making it difficult for the viewer to examine. The condenser lens produces convergent light, which focuses better on one part of the specimen. The gypsum plate is used to identify the vibration direction. Under cross polars, the gypsum plate shows first order pink interference colors. With the gypsum plate inserted, either addition of retardation or subtraction of retardation occurs. Here we see a typical uniaxial conoscopic figure. The isogyres are the black lines where extinction occurs. This occurs because the light vibrations are parallel to the vibration direction of the polars. Isochromes are curved lines of equal color. They depend on the optical symmetry and orientation of the crystal. The number of isochromes depends on the birefringence, the thickness of the plate, and the objective. The point of maximum curvature of the isogyre is called the melitope. It represents the optic axis at the center of the cross. When the melitope is not in the center, the distance of the melitope to the center represents the tilt angle from the optic axis to the microscope axis. The gypsum plate is inserted to determine the optic sign. The addition and subtraction of retardation produces either yellow or blue areas. Remember, the gypsum plate is red. We use the burp rule as a simple reminder, blue upper right is positive. The burp rule still applies to biaxial conoscopic figures, but they look slightly different. Here we see the uniaxial mineral tourmaline. This thin section is cut parallel to the C-axis, thus parallel to the optic axis. First we focus on the grain, next put in the analyzer, then the Birchin lens, and the condenser lens. Here we see the cross figure. Let's pop in the gypsum plate. Top right corner is yellow, thus negative. As we rotate the slide, we see the isogyres remain in their original position, indicating the mineral is parallel to the optic axis. Here we see the biaxial mineral muscovite. This thin section is thick and cut along cleavage planes to exaggerate the isochromes of the conoscopic figure. First we focus on the grain, next put in the analyzer, then the Birchin lens, and then the condenser lens. As we rotate the slide, we see the isogyres move and come together to form a cross when the Z and X planes are parallel to the analyzer and polarizer. Let's pop in the gypsum plate. Using the burp rule, we find this mineral is negative. 